Now, the most accurate weather forecast in South Texas with meteorologist Juan Acuna. Hello everyone. We have a very calm night in the coastal bend on this good Friday. We just have a couple of a high thin cirrus clouds that are moving through the coastal bend. Overall, we have clear skies. It is a tranquil night in the coastal bend and finally, finally the winds have relaxed below 10 miles an hour and it is just a gorgeous evening for us here. That is courtesy of high pressure that is slowly sinking on down. It was responsible for the sunshine we had today and it's also going to be responsible for the sunshine for tomorrow. Notice a large storm system that is heading off to the east and off into the southeastern states in the story we just did earlier. Notice all the pressure gradient lines they are all very close together. So that's why all the wind is uh, moving in that direction and it's easing up the pressure here in the coastal bend. Not going to last long, uh, especially as we go into tomorrow, the winds will be picking back up again, but nonetheless, uh, that's the reason that the uh, winds are calming down for tonight as that system moves away. Plenty of dry air is sinking into the region at this point. High pressure will take control of our weather pattern as we go into tomorrow afternoon, but then a series of uh, storm systems off to the west are going to start to dig into the Rockies, and as they do so, that's going to pump up the Gulf moisture once again. Tighten up our pressure gradient and the winds will be back on the increase. We see it here on the future tracker. There goes one storm system by tomorrow afternoon. We have high pressure in control of the upper levels of the atmosphere. And then this storm system is just going to continue to dig right on down. And again, uh, in response to this, all that Gulf moisture is going to be on the increase. So let's look at it on the uh, future clouds and rain here. We'll see the humidity start to increase tomorrow and our winds will turn more out of the southeast because we get return flow coming off high pressure. We have that clockwise flow around that high and then notice all the pressure gradient lines. They start to increase, so that means windy conditions as we look at Easter Sunday. Still not going to be bad, just a couple of clouds here and there, but it is going to be windy and it is going to continue to be warm as well. As that approaching upper level storm system comes in, notice that we start to pick up a little bit more clouds as we go into Monday and Tuesday of next week. But for tonight though, looking very, very nice. Clear skies, it's going to allow temperatures to drop into the middle 50s again, but notice those south southeasterly winds. They do start to pick up there. We'll look for the upper 50s to lower 60s near the coastline and another cool start for our inland areas. So we start 56 early in the morning here in the city, 80 by uh, noontime and 82 and on the breezy side uh, for tomorrow afternoon at 5 o'clock, uh, middle to upper 70s near the coastline and approaching 90 degrees for our inland areas. If you plan on hitting out to Padre and Mustang Island tomorrow, 77, lots of sunshine. The rip current risk is going to be moderate, so use caution in the bays will be slightly to occasionally choppy. So tomorrow we'll call it a breezy day. Not bad, but then very windy on Easter Sunday. Sustained winds close to 30 miles an hour. Make sure nothing flies away on your Easter barbecue.